Hi. <laughs> Hi there. Hi, Anthony. You're very welcome, folks, to our student spotlight today. We're talking to Anthony Watt, who is uh, studying physics with astrophysics. And you're in second year now, Anthony. Uh, yeah, just going into second semester now, too. Second semester of second year. So did you have uh, end of semester one exams then or assignments? Yeah, uh, we just we just finished them actually a few days ago. Yeah, we had them for about a three week period. Yeah, there was six exams we had to do. I think they went well. Hopefully. So is that six exams, six per module or six how per, do we... uh, module? Yeah, because I do three subjects and in experimental physics, because it's an experimental physics uh, degree, we have three modules and you pick two other modules, which are math and math physics. OK, so that's your second year, second semester. So could you take us back, first of all, to Donegal? And uh, which which part of Donegal are you from, actually? Uh, a town called Maville in Enishowen, right at the top. Couldn't be further away from the north. <laughs> <laughs> and indeed, most most other colleges, with the exception of Cork, I suppose. Um, so exactly. you're you're in uh, you're in Enishowen, and you're thinking of what are you going to do in college? And so, in your leaving cert, were you studying those subjects, physics? Were you interested in that area? Presumably, you were. Yeah, I, I did study physics. Uh, I studied physics and chemistry. And yeah, the, physics was probably my best subject, apart from okay. geography. <laughs> geography. So you had physics, geography, chemistry. Chemistry. And, and I didn't do a, f a difference. I didn't do an optional subject. We do four like additional ones. I only done three because, uh, yeah, I wanted to focus more on physics and chemistry. Wow. Okay, great. So well, clearly you got the points anyway, and uh, you're in your chosen degree. Um, but so you're thinking about college and as I say, it, Maynooth isn't necessarily on your doorstep. So what were you thinking in terms of other colleges and, and the course that you wanted to study? Uh, well, I chose Maynooth because uh, in fourth year we do, uh, it's an optional trip for our final grade. Uh, to go to an observatory in, I think, France, and we can do a project on it and stuff. Uh, so that was one reason why I picked Maynooth and just the locality of it and the facilities of the uni are very good. We have a really good library, which I'd be in a lot, actually. It's really nice as a Starbucks, so yeah. <laughs> the Starbucks. Um, yeah, so, that, so there were some advantages. Had you come to the open days or how did you familiarize yourself with Maynooth? I actually, I didn't. Uh, I just done all my research online and I knew people who visited the uni and they, they were telling me stuff about it. So I took their advice and I looked online and uh, it was the course that really stood out to me uh, just because not many unis do my course. So uh, that's what I picked Maynooth, yeah. Okay. So when you came into first year um, from, from Donegal, were there others from your class or your, your school that were kind of coming to Maynooth as well? Or how familiar were you with with other people on the campus? So I, I took a gap year. Uh, so anyone in my year is a year <laughs> above me right now. Uh, but when I came uh, then after my gap year, there was a lot more people I knew than I thought. I thought I'd be the only one from Donegal. And like the accommodation right beside me, there was people from like my hometown and stuff. So there was actually quite a lot of people I knew. That was very good for making friends. So you weren't completely isolated, but then in your class, in your particular degree, you wouldn't the numbers wouldn't be huge, I imagine. Or I no, I've, there's like eighteen of us, I think, and even then, uh, you know, uh, that's that's still a small class in university, yeah. like. Uh, but no one in my class uh, or my degree I knew from back home. They're just all people I've met at uni. Sure, but were you sitting in lectures with bigger numbers? You know, oh yeah, so like. like yeah. Math lectures would have like 200 or 300 people, I'd say. They were split into two because there were so many of them. Uh, and yeah, and I, there was no small lectures in first year apart from math physics. But even that, that was about 80 people. So mm. uh, I was still, still big, so you'd still meet people. Like, So how did you cope with those first few weeks and, and, and the assignments that were coming your way? Were you well prepared or did you feel like you needed a bit of... I, I, I think okay. uh, compared to others who just went straight from uh, school straight into it, I feel like I was very prepared because I took a year out and I kind of, I did study a wee bit during that year out. So uh, I felt a bit more confident going in, but um, 
Uh, no, it's, it's still tough. Like, you know, uh, still tough to do uh, assignments and stuff. Uh, but uh, if you just concentrate on them, you'll do grand. Like, but clearly, you're a man who likes to focus on stuff that you're you're interested in, and based oh, on yeah, what you like, said about you're leaving certain stuff. So, so now you're studying a degree that is your your chosen degree and your your chosen area to, to specialize in. So, what have you enjoyed in what you've studied so far? Um, well, I liked uh, math and first year because it was very like leaving cert math, uh, but uh, it seemed easier to understand I don't I don't know if you know that makes sense it was like it, it made more sense in uni because you've already been doing it for two years and uh math math physics and experimental physics were both interesting because they went more into detail of leaving cert math more into the math side of it and um critical skills was actually really good because the classes were that class was very small there was only like I'd say about 12 of us in that class so like we all knew each other really well and we were quite close in that class it was really helpful for meeting people because mm-hmm. of such a small class so that was a requirement of it for you to take in first year critical skills uh critical skills was optional uh it was because I, I didn't want to study biology because I've not done it since junior sir so I chose critical skills for science because uh it's helps with referencing and stuff. And then now in second year, I have to reference in my uh, lab reports. So it was really helpful uh, learning all that in first year. Yeah, get that foundation, those that skill set. Other students I've spoken to have mentioned critical skills being really, really Oh yeah, it's a, it's a really good class, you know, <laughs> it actually is. Yeah. So it's you're tough, taking- it's, it's, it's good, it's tough because I'm not very good at English. So, uh, but you can still you still do well in it like if you put the effort in so you feel you feel like you're playing to your skill set now that you're in your in your degree what is it that you're really what have you discovered about yourself in terms of what you like to do or what you like to study in terms of practicals or or the assignments that you've done um if I put the time if I don't give myself enough time in the assignments I won't do well but if I give myself a good amount of time to do my assignments each week I, I can I'll, I'll struggle for a few hours or whatever, but then I'll get my head around it and understand. Uh, just, just have to get your head around it, really. Like, yeah. And did you get much notice in terms of assignments, or how how much time lead in time do you get? So for math physics, we get uh, well right in first year we got uh, one assignment every week. Uh, so that was just due on like a Monday or something. So you had the whole week to do it. It was just four questions uh experimental physics um we would only get an assignment like once a month maybe um it, it's a bit different this year i guess because online but yeah last year it was probably about once a month It'd just be like a small in class test worth five percent or so math we had oh math we had an assignment every week too actually yeah for because in our degree we have to do calculus and linear algebra so you'd have one assignment for one of them one week and then switch to next week. So I have much option in first year uh, and now indeed in second year in terms of what you're studying like do you have is it quite prescribed the course or is there much much option there for you to choose? You, you do you do have a lot of options you can do like computer science chemistry and biology and stuff too but I, I just I, I'd be awful. I was awful at chemistry, so I couldn't do chemistry, and I never studied biology, so I didn't do that. And computer science, I just wasn't really interested. But say within the modules and or within the subjects rather than themselves, so you get to choose your sort of your extra subject in first year, your to make up your final fifteen credits. But then within those subjects that you're taking in, um, in the experimental physics area, are you able to choose within particular modules, or is it all quite? Specific. No, it's all we all just study the same stuff and it'll all come up in the exam. But the exams have a bit of choice. So like if you don't study maybe one topic, you know, you could probably you'd still do grand. Like, but no, it's pretty it's pretty like just read the book and yeah. This is what you were studying. Yeah. Yeah. What about then second just, year? Is it more is there more flexibility there? Uh yeah, there in second year definitely, because um there, one of the exams was uh it, there was like a good bit of options because there was kind of like two modules within one module, uh, like electricity and magnetism. 
and I focused more on like magnetism than electricity so that that really helped because it gave me a lot more option but you still have to study all of it but you have a lot more option to focus on one type so is there a project that you've done so far that you've really kind of really stood out for you or that you're looking forward to doing maybe in semester two um I think we have projects yeah, coming up in semester two we have a we have kind of like a basic computer science module coming up so I think that will be quite project based it's all continuous assessment mm -hmm. so uh, I, I don't know if I'm looking forward to it or not because computers are quite hard but I, I'll see you'll cope with it anyway there's plenty of support isn't there in the university if you need I think with yeah 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 online uh, tech support and stuff too so that they'll be helpful I'd say yeah so what about um when you finish up your course and what are you thinking in terms of career I know you're already not you're not quite finished second year yet but what are you thinking you might like to do uh, I would like to go into the energy sector uh renewable or non-renewable so like solar panels and stuff or oil or um even then I'd, I'd really like to be a pilot too to be honest that would be like a a really good thing in physics is quite being a pilot's quite physics based so that would be really helpful i'd say hopefully right so there's plenty of options there anyway with the degree that you could oh yeah you, can, you do you know go into like uh weather and stuff too like uh just really Geology. depends what field you drive her cool but you've got plenty of time to figure that bit out yet but what about the i know you with um, work, studying from home, it's not quite so relevant maybe with the clubs and society side of university life, but did you get involved in first year and second in, year? In, yeah, in first year, yeah, I was, um, there, was a, there was a few, uh, there was like um, the tea society and stuff, you know, I was just to go have a cup of tea and chat with people and there was Red Cross, that was good. We met up every week and learned uh, like first aid training and, um, you know cpr and stuff but it was, it was cut short a bit because you know uh coronavirus and stuff but like we still got we still got a good bit out of it and uh there was also it came in the start of second semester it was a 5k running club that that was really good that was that was fun to go to like just take me back to the tea drinking society did you did you sample any new varieties of tea or was it all barry's <laughs> just just normal tea like you just bring your own cup or whatever and have a normal cup of tea like Great. um tell us before we we've, we've concluded anthony somebody who might be in your position in sixth year thinking about college and thinking about um physics astrophysics area what would you say is um well what are your words of advice um geez uh be good at math <laughs> um make sure you focus on math you don't have to be good at all parts of math just make sure you can understand math to a good enough point um and if you're not good at english that, that you're grand then it's not very you know it's it's english based but it's it's good enough that you don't have to be you know very good in english to understand it um so, yeah just as long as you as long as you put the work in uh you'll do grand yeah but maths is a key subject and you need to have a good strength yeah. in that area L luckily the university like it goes through the math you'll need it's pretty much all yeah and, and, and like if you, if you do grand enough in math and leaving cert you'll be you'll be grand like and there's a math support center in the university as well so students who oh yeah use... actually I, I have been to that before actually yeah that, that is helpful too yeah right yeah so, so there's that assistance is there if you need it um great anthony it was lovely to talk to you today no problem thanks for having me